Okay, so today we're going to visit Terry's Turf Club. One thing to know when you go there is if you go during busy time, dinner time, after 5 o'clock at night, you're going to have a tough time getting in. If you go earlier, you're just going to walk right in and sit down. The other thing to know is to watch what you order. They charge for different individual items beyond your regular condiments. And before you know it, you can have a $20 burger, $25 burger with fries. So be careful when you do that. Whenever I review a burger, whenever I try a burger for the first time, I keep it basic. No cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, mayonnaise. If you can't get that right, then you're not going to get something fancier right. So keep that in mind before you go and enjoy. So here it is, the world famous Terry's Turf Club. Just look for the old house and all the neon signs. Okay, so what everyone probably wants to know is how was it? It was good. I think the, the, the bun was a little thick. I, I couldn't eat the whole bun. Uh, it was hard to get my mouth around the burger at first. Uh, the fries were really good. They were crispy, but by the time I got to the bottom of them, they were soggy. Uh, the, the meat was very good. It's not the best burger I've ever had. It's not even the best burger in town. What you're paying for is the atmosphere, the fame, the ambiance uh, if you come during the day you come in you sit down there's peanuts you throw them on the floor all the kitschy signs and things like that it's a very small place maybe only 20 booths and tables um, if you come in the evening you'll be greeted by a major d at the door it does get crazy if you come during dinner time after 4 30 then you're going to have a long wait to get in so while it's not the best burger I've had or even the best in town it's an experience and I'll leave it up to you if you want to come check it out